The first descent is a prime example of what happens when a game developers actually listen to their community. Nexon, the game's creator, has been paying close attention to a player's feedback, leading to significant improvements in the recent updates. The latest patch, 1.1.4, introduces a range of content and fixes that make this sci-fi looter shooter more enjoyable and rewarding than ever. If you've been grinding in the game or are new to the first descendant, this update is worth diving into, and you could keep you up until 3 a.m. chasing those rare items. So, the first Ascendant was initially met with mixed reviews. Despite having solid gameplay, gorgeous characters, and plenty of content to sink hours into, the game struggles to maintain its player base. One of the biggest issues was its layered grind. You had to work through multiple levels of randomness to get the gear you wanted, which often left players feeling frustrated. However, recent patches, of course including 1.1.4, have addressed these concerns, streamlining the grind and improving drop rates. Now, it feels much more rewarding to invest your time in the game. The developers have clearly been listening to the community, menus are easier to navigate, wait times are shorter, and overall gameplay flows more smoothly. These quality of life improvements make it clear that Nexon values player input and is committed to improving the game based on feedback. One of the most exciting additions in this update is Ultimate Freyna, a Venom-based descendant who gets a huge power boost in her ultimate form. Her new abilities make her versatile character in combat, with a stronger focus on critical hits and firearm attacks. Freyna's skills have been reworked to include Necrosis stacks, which enhance her critical hit rate, and Venom Injection, a defensive ability that helps recover her shield while boosting her skill and power. These changes make her feel more dynamic and powerful, offering players new ways to strategize in battles. Players, of course, can either grind for the parts needed to unlock Ultimate Freyna or purchase her bundle directly from the shop. The decision to include both free and paid options ensures that the players who prefer grinding can still achieve their goals without feeling pressured to spend real money. And of course, on top of that, with the incentive of how beautiful and gorgeous and sexy she looks, well, it's a no-brainer a lot of people would love to play as her. To complement Ultimate Freyna, the update also introduces the Frost Watcher, a sniper rifle designed for Haley, another popular character by the way. This rifle specializes in reducing enemies' chill resistance and boosts your chill skill power with each long range hit. It's perfect for the players who enjoy staying at the distance while dealing significant damage. Unlocking the Frost Watchers uh, it requires defeating the new boss, Death Stalker, in the hard difficulty Void Intercept and Battle. This battle is no joke, and players will need to bring their A-game to take down this poison-based boss, however the rewards are worth it. And you'll also gain access to two new components set, Distorted Resolve, which boosts Assault Rifle and Toxic Skill Power, and Invader, which enhances Shield Capacity and of course the Skill Duration. Now, one of the most frustrating aspects of the game has always been the feeling of wasted time when grinding for the items you don't actually need. Fortunately, patch 1.1.4 introduces ETAO, or, you know, the new character basically for, uh, that appears in Albion on the weekends, mind you. ETAO, or I'm just gonna call him ETA, allows players to trade in unwanted blueprints and spare items for vouchers, which can then be exchanged for new items. This feature makes grinding feel less wasteful, as players can now exchange unwanted drops for something perhaps useful. It's a fantastic addition that helps streamline the game's progression and gives players more control over their inventory. As a part of the seasonal festivals, Albion has been transformed into a Halloween wonderland. Players can earn special Halloween-themed emotes each week and purchase a variety of spooky skins, including a fun pumpkin back attachment. These limited-timed cosmetics add a festival flair to the game and give players more ways to express themselves. In addition to the Halloween content, the update finally introduces a feature players have been requesting for quite a long time, hair dyes. 
There are now 44 different colors to choose from, allowing players to customize their characters further. This addition enhances the already strong customizability options in the game, making it more appealing to fashion-focused players. Uh, one of the standout features of this new, new patch is the improved drop rates and streamlined grind. Previous updates made the game feel like a slog, with players often spending hours grinding for a specific item only to come up empty-handed. Nexon has made significant adjustments to the droplet rate, ensuring that players have a higher chance of getting the items that they needed. While the grind is still a core part of the game, as it should be since it is a looter shooter, it is now feels much more rewarding. Players are less likely to feel like they're wasting time, and the ability to trade in unwanted blueprints with ETA further introduces this sort of a frustration. The game's developers have acknowledged that the previous grind was too tedious and have taken a step to make it more enjoyable. Alright, now it is imp just impossible to talk about this update without mentioning the aggressive marketing campaign behind Ultimate Freyna. From social media ads to in-game promotions, Nexon has gone all out on promoting this character. And it makes total sense. Ultima Freyna is a perfect blend of fun gameplay, stunning visuals, the engaging backstory, and you know what else I'm talking about. <laughs> the developers have leaned into what makes the game attractive. Absolutely sexy characters, exciting gameplay, and a rich world. And by introducing characters like Freyna, they're giving players more reasons to engage with the game, both in terms of the gameplay and the narrative, and of course, the looks. The first Descendant has come uh, quite a long way since its initial release back in July. And with this new patch, it's a testament to the developer's dedication to improving the game. From the new characters like Ultimate Freyna as mentioned, and the weapons like the Frost Watcher, to quality of life improvements that make the grind more rewarding. This update has made the game more enjoyable than ever. Nexon has shown that they are willing to listen to the community and make changes based on the feedback, which is exactly what this game needed. If you've been away from the game or are looking for something new to play, now I think it's perfect time to jump into the first Descendant. With its improved grind, exciting new content and beautiful visuals and of course absolutely sexy women, this is the kind of game that can keep you up until early hours of the morning grinding for that one rare item. And with the latest changes, it actually feels worth it. Tell me down in the comments as well, are you considering giving a shot and trying the first Ascendant? Why not? It's free, so you don't really got anything to lose. Nevertheless, tell me down in the comments, I'd love to read it. Alright, see you guys all, have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Rage, money, power,